हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय चैनल लर्न मोर मैथ्स माय नेम इज वर कुमार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू चैप्टर पॉलिनोमियल्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर स्टूडेंट सो ऑलरेडी यू हैव फेमिलियर विद दिस चैप्टर इन द प्रीवियस क्लास सो वंस अगेन वी हैव टू रिकॉल व्हाट यू लर्न देयर सो हियर फर्स्ट वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट डेफिनेशन एंड आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ द पॉलिनोमियल्स a degree of a polynomial value of a polynomial zeros of a polynomial so these things first you have to discuss so then after we have to solve problems from our first exercise so see student how can we define a polynomial what is a polynomial so an algebraic expression an algebraic expression in which the powers of the variables are non negative integers is called a polynomial so what it is see here an algebraic expression in which the powers of the variables are non negative integers then it is called a polynomial so see here this is the definition of the polynomial student an algebraic expression in which the powers of the variables are non negative integers is called a polynomial so see student i am writing some examples uh, example number 1 so x square plus 3x minus 4 so here what he is saying it is an algebraic expression first so in a, an algebraic expression in which the powers of the variables so x are the variable x here x is the variable in the given algebraic expression the powers of the variables are non negative integers so here the power is 2 and here the power is 1 so the power should be non negative integers so non negative integers are minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 non negative means 0 1 2 3 and so on so the powers should be either 0 1 2 3 4 so on so if the power is negative it is not a, a polynomial if the power is a fraction it is not a polynomial so or a rational number if your power is a rational number it is not a polynomial so see here this is a polynomial suppose i am writing like this 1 by x plus 1 by y i have written so now here the power of the variable is minus 1 1 by x can be written as x to the power minus 1 plus y to the power minus 1 so here the power of the variable is minus 1 but the condition is the powers of the variables are non negative integers but here the power is negative so it is not a polynomial this is not a polynomial so suppose see here as a student i am writing some uh, expressions you have to say whether it is a polynomial or not so student i have written for some expressions here now you have to say whether these expressions are polynomials or not depending on the definition of the polynomial so here now how can we decide by observing the um, we have to observe the powers of the variables in the polynomial so see here uh, we have to observe the powers of the variables of the given expression so here the variable is x here the variable is y there so the power of x is here 1 and the power of y is 1 so here these are non negative integers hence it is a polynomial so root 3x square plus 2 root x so here root 3 is called the coefficient of x square so but we have to observe the powers only here the power is 2 but here the power is 1 by 2 so it is not a polynomial so here x square plus 2x plus 1 by x square so here the power is 2 here the power is 1 but here the power is minus 2 so 1 by x square is x x to the power minus 2 so it is not a polynomial here also 2 root x is there so here x to the power 1 by 2 so here x square plus it is also not a polynomial since the power is a, a rational number the powers must be non negative integers so either it may be 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 and so on 
so like this we can identify whether the given algebraic expressions are polynomials or not by observing the powers of the variables uh, which are there in the given algebraic expression so this is the definition and identification of the uh, polynomial student and next we have to uh, understand a degree of a polynomial what is the degree of a polynomial student what is the degree of a polynomial see here uh, the highest power of the variable of uh, a given polynomial is known as the degree of the polynomial the highest power of the variable in the given polynomial is known as the degree of the polynomial so see student how can we say the degree suppose i am writing so here the variable is x the highest power of the variable is 3 here so here the high here the power is 2 here the power is 1 here it is 0 so the degree is 3 here the degree of this polynomial is equal to 3 so the highest power of the variable in the given polynomial is known as the degree of the polynomial so suppose uh, see here uh, so here one more polynomial x square y to the power 3 plus x to the power 4 minus 3x square plus 5 so now what is the degree so here the highest power is 4 but here there is the product of two variables uh, x to the power 2 and y to the power 3 in this case we have to add the powers of the two variables that is 2 plus 3 is 5 therefore degree of this uh, given polynomial degree is equal to 5 in this case that you have to remember so here the degree is 5 so depending upon the degree of the given polynomial we can classify the polynomials as a constant polynomial linear polynomial quadratic polynomial cubic polynomial so what are the student depending upon the degree of the polynomial we can define the polynomial as if the degree of the polynomial is 0 then it is known as a constant polynomial if the degree of the polynomial is 1 then it is known as a linear polynomial if the degree of the polynomial is 2 then it is known as a quadratic polynomial if the degree of the polynomial is 3 uh, it is known as the cubic polynomial so depending upon the degree of the given polynomial so we can classify as a constant polynomial linear polynomial quadratic polynomial and a cubic polynomial so if the degree is 2 so then it is known as quadratic polynomial if the degree is 1 it is known as linear polynomial if the degree is 0 it is known as constant polynomial if the degree is 3 it is known as the cubic polynomial very very important student these things you have to keep in your mind so see student next to oh, examples what are the examples for constant polynomial all these are there are no variables here only there are only numbers so these are called the constant polynomials we can think that here 7 is nothing but 7 to x to the power 0 it is 3 by 4 into x to the power 0 minus 3 into x to the power 0 uh, that's all so x to the power 0 value is nothing but 1 so we can write 7 as 7 into x to the power 0 3 by 4 into x to the power 0 minus 3 into x to the power 0 so all these are called constant polynomials so here the degree of these polynomials is zero so next linear polynomial examples for linear polynomial so see student all these are the examples for linear polynomial so here the degree is one highest power of the variable is one here also highest power of the variable is one here of the highest power is a a 1 so all the degree of these polynomials is 1 hence these polynomials are called linear polynomials so these are the examples for linear polynomials so the general form of a linear polynomial is the general form of the linear polynomial so the general form of a linear polynomial is ax plus b here a is not equal to 0 a comma b are the real numbers so this is known as the general form of a linear polynomial so next what is quadratic so see here these are the examples for 
quadratic polynomial so these are the examples for a quadratic polynomial if the degree of the polynomial is 2 then it is known as a quadratic polynomial see here so the highest power of the polynomial is 2 here here it is 2 so the degree is 2 here the highest power is 2 so the degree of this polynomial is also 2 here also the degree of this polynomial is also 2 these are the examples of a quadratic polynomial so the general form of a quadratic polynomial is so this is the general form of a quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and a is not equal to 0 is the condition a b c are the real numbers so this is the general form of a quadratic polynomial then cubic polynomial so if the degree of a polynomial is 3 then it is known as a cubic polynomial so these are the examples of cubic polynomial oh, see here the degree of this polynomial is 3 hence it is known as a cubic polynomial in the general form of a cubic polynomial is so this is the uh, general form of a cubic polynomial a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d a is not equal to 0 a comma b comma c and d are the real numbers so student these things you have to uh, keep in your mind uh, to solve the problems so this is about a degree of a polynomial so next we have to learn about value of a polynomial what it is see here value of a polynomial what it is so value of a polynomial see here if p of x is a polynomial in x if p of x is a polynomial in x and if k is a real number then the value obtained by replacing x by k in p of x is called the value of p of x at x is equal to k and is denoted by p of k so see student uh, uh, i am writing one example example see it is a polynomial therefore let it is p of x is equal to x square minus 5x plus 2 so i want to substitute x is equal to 3 so x is equal to 3 i want to substitute x is equal to 3 then it becomes p of 3 if i substitute x is equal to 3 so it becomes p of 3 is equal to 3 square minus 5 into 3 plus 2 so 3 square is 9 5 into 3 is 15 plus 2 so it is 11 minus 15 which is minus 4 so this is a minus 4 is the value of polynomial p of x at x is equal to 3 so that is the meaning of value of a polynomial so minus 4 is the value of polynomial p of x at x is equal to 3 it is denoted by p of 3 it is denoted by p of 3 so minus 4 is the value of polynomial p of x at x is equal to 3 so that is the value of a polynomial so next we have to learn about the zeros of a polynomial see student what are the zeros of a polynomial so generally a real number k is said to be a zero of polynomial p of x if p of k is equal to zero so see here uh, how can a real number k is said to be a zero of the polynomial if p of k is equal to zero so see student uh, here there is a polynomial i am writing let p of x is equal to x square plus 5x plus 6 x square plus 5x plus 6 so here is a polynomial suppose for which value of x this polynomial value becomes 0 then the value is known as 0 of the polynomial so uh, minus 2 i am substituting x is equal to minus 2 that is if i substitute x is equal to minus 2 in p of x uh, the value of p of x becomes 0 then x is equal to minus 2 is a 0 of the polynomial p of x uh. so for which value of x the polynomial becomes 0 is known as a a zero value of the polynomial so by for x is equal to minus 2 here the value of the p of x is becoming zero therefore x is equal to minus 2 is a zero value of the polynomial p of x so that is the uh, zeros of a polynomial student uh, so this is the uh, introduction to polynomials uh, so next we have to solve some problems uh.